It may look like a bra for boys, but these things aren't there just to keep your pecs in place. Over recent years, we've become more accustomed to seeing our favorite stars wear these special sports bras. It's normal. And they're especially noticeable thanks to the bulge in their back. So the question we're asking today is, why do footballers wear these sports bras? These sports bras are rather special. They serve as a support unit for a little box that attaches to the back. They are fitted with a pocket, which is filled with a GPS unit. The entire system comprises of one ultra precise GPS unit, much more accurate than the one used in cars, for example. One accelerometer, one magnetometer, and together these devices measure a vast array of data metrics. Let's take a look at the three main benefits on these sports bras. Number one, feedback on the player positioning. The GPS allows specialists to monitor a player's positioning throughout the game, generating what is commonly known as a player's heat map. For context, take a look at this exclusive of Lionel Messi's heat map from every game he plays. In short, the device feeds data back to the analyst who can then advise what needs to be done to improve a player's positioning, whether that's pushing forward or dropping back or simply subbing them off. Number two, knowing the effort put in by each player. The GPS measures how far a player has run at what intensity, both maximum pace and average pace, the number of sprints, the number of accelerations, decelerations, the number of changes in direction, basically anything to do with their physical output during a match. The majority of these GPS devices are also fitted with a tool which measures each player's heart rate by way of an ECG. These tools help analysts monitor the intensity at which each player performs. In simple terms, players have nowhere to hide. These GPS systems gave rise to an amusing scene in the Arsenal documentary, All or Nothing. Michael Arteta was captured on screen informing some of his players that in the week prior, when he himself was in self-isolation due to COVID, that they had taken their foot off the gas during training. With this rich stream of data, you can measure almost any physical activity to the finest degree. The data in the computer, I never understood that very well. Number three, preventing injury and tailoring training sessions. These sports bras also help inform analysts on the way in which each player runs, whether they're feet remain in contact with the ground during a sprint or not. If the foot remains stuck to the ground, that indicates a player may be fatiguing. These are key indicators which help ascertain the workload and the fatigue of each member of the team. It's widespread knowledge that Luis Enrique relied on these GPS units to help influence rotation during his time at FC Barcelona. A little like the way we use the energy bar on FIFA to decipher how tired our players are. If it becomes clear a player is running on empty, they'll manage their game time accordingly. GPS systems have become commonplace in all levels of football, with some amateur players even forking out for them at their own expense. Bayern Munich have relied on the data they provide to help implement their traffic light system for monitoring the condition of their players. They help to prevent injuries, but also provide quantitative data on whether a player needs rest or not, rather than relying solely on their own judgments. If a player decides to ignore a niggle in fear of missing the next match, these GPS systems can help notify staff of a problem before it arises. El resultado es un resultado para nosotros perfecto. This helps prevent fatigue manifesting into a real injury. Alternatively, it allows specialists to treat niggles before they become more serious. A direct consequence of that is analysts can design tailor-made training sessions for each individual player. If a player starts to show signs of fatigue, you reduce the intensity. Individualization of training methods is nothing new. New, but with the introduction of these GPS systems, analysts can dive deeper into the issue. So there we have the major benefits of these clever devices. They've added a new dimension to the principle of physical preparation. Their implementation hasn't all been plain sailing, however. Many players initially refuse to wear them, believing them to be uncomfortable and therefore hindering performances. But these sports bras are so important to the 
the support staff that they quickly became essential pieces of equipment. Now, players have no choice, and some can even face steep fines if they refuse to wear them in training. As evidenced by the recent leak of Steven Gerrard's list of fines at Aston Villa. Among the 18 possible infringements, there's one for failure to wear a GPS during training. A mistake that cost 100 quid. For those of you who might be wondering, these devices have been permitted during official competition since 2015. Each individual league is allowed to limit usage to games or training. Each authority is free to make their own decision. So, there we have it. Now, if anyone asks you why players have a bulge in their back, you'll be able to explain why. You can thank us later. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Dr. Football. If that is indeed the case, don't forget to hit that like button and let us know your thoughts in the comments. 